we better start then. What's flexible learning to you? Um, any time, any place, any way. Um, any way? Any who. <laughs> <laughs> um, just really, so people can actually learn when and where they want. You know, if they've got work commitments, they can get on the internet. You know, if they want to go, if they're an insomniac, they can get on the internet at night and get their online course going or flexible could be yeah hang on <laughs> well I'll take over while you gather your thoughts there <laughs> flexible learning for me I mean um, it wasn't that long ago that I was actually a student and and so many times I you know sitting on a bus uh, for the third time that day going in to see a lecture uh, that was pretty much something that I could have watched on video or, or something like that and and then going to the tutorials that ended up being a lecture anyway. Um, and whereas the um, students that I was with, uh, we just formed up an e-group and uh, fired off emails back and forth to each other and got on the internet and started talking to, to each other with the internet telephones and ran our own tutorials. And uh, through those discussions and through the pointers of other students um, online from home or wherever we were, uh, we actually enhanced our learning that way. So. Um, I really hope flexible learning um, comes into some organisations so that people, students who had an experience like I've had um, get an option to um, you know, use those enhancements. Yeah, and I guess because I've been entrenched in e-learning I sort of think the flexible bit is, you know, it's got some technology moving there somewhere, but for other people flexible can be just the ability to pick up a, a book a handbook and read through it and you know do the old traditional correspondence type stuff yeah, yeah. but I think with all the technology that's available at the moment we need to use as much as we can to enhance people's learning but mm. also make it more accessible but not inflexible by saying you have to go on the internet to do this course mm. which may not suit a lot of people mm. they may prefer you know, to listen to tapes yeah, yeah. And of course, at the Polytech here, um, you know, we're very um, technically minded, technical training, um, and hands on, and things like that. So, there is always a place, especially in the Polytech, for the face to face type thing when we need to get hands on and stuff like that. So, none of us, I think, are saying to replace that, but with the flexibility of some of the theory, um, that means we can spend more time on the hands on. Whereas the theory can be done as uh, a little bit like homework, that we try and make it as fun as possible. Yeah. Okay. But you know, there's some people who say you can teach anything totally online if you've got a bit of creativity. So mm, I'd agree with that. Yeah. yeah but, so, but I think we need to introduce that idea to staff relatively mm. slowly. Mm. So what we really want is to hear from others what flexible learning is to them, um, open up more of a debate. You know, so we obviously, Bronwyn and I haven't talked too much about some of the downsides of flexible learning or the challenges that we face. So we want to um, have that sort of discussion if possible. Okay, let's see if we can edit this video to try and get it to a size that's good for email.